youngest of seven children. And my mother always talked about out of seven children, she thought one of us would be a missionary. Now my understanding of being a missionary meant going to a foreign country and none of my siblings had become missionaries and so I felt like the lot might be cast upon me and I did not want to go to Africa. And I feel like that has hampered my experience of Jesus throughout my life until recently when um, talking with a group of friends, I was able to let go of that fear. In the meantime, our church has been teaching um, that being a missionary means reaching out to people where you live, work, and play. And so my understanding has changed and I gave up my fear to Jesus about being a missionary. And I asked Jesus for a mental picture of my fear leaving. And he gave me a picture of a roll off dumpster going down the road, piled high with my fears. As we were getting to know our neighbors, we decided that one of the cool ways would, <laughs> one of the cool ways to get to know our neighbors would be to have a fire pit. So as we were talking to our friends next door, they told us that we were not allowed to have our own fire pit because they already had one. So we decided that, you know what, anytime they were outside with the fire lit, we would go over and hang out. And it became a place where the other neighbors came and serious conversation began to happen. So when, when, when someone would ask a question that the other person was not comfortable answering at another location, they would say, that's a conversation for the fire pit. I felt God calling me to love on the kids in my community about two and a half years ago. And that, to me, that looked like becoming a foster parent. In the last two years, I've had more than 70 kids come in and out of my home. My opportunity for Jesus on the streets comes in the form of a turquoise picnic table. Sitting here gives me a place where I can invite people to and they can come just as they are. And while they're here, we can have coffee or meals or just conversation. It's also really easy for me to invite my neighbors and my community because my picnic table is actually in my front yard. We moved Vacation Bible School from our church building to a community building and 30 kids from our community showed up. 